Hello friends, today in this tutorial we are going to learn about very important topic of civil engineering bar bending schedule. This bar bending schedule will help us in calculating steel means in the reinforcement calculation. Okay, while we are doing reinforcement calculation for footings, for beams, for column, for slab, or for staircase, we have to understand this bar bending schedule. Okay, so now let us start with the first topic of bar bending schedule by understanding the diameters of the reinforcement. Our reinforcement bar will be in the circular shape, so we'll have diameters. So we have here 6 mm, 8 mm, 10 mm, 12 mm, 16 mm, 20 mm, and so on. Means whatever diameter you want, you can arrange for that. Means suppose we have I have given here 40 mm till, but if you want 40 mm, you can 45 mm, you can give order, you can and you can select that one. Okay. Now for that whatever bar we have above, for that what will be the length of bar? Means the standard length of one single bar. The standard length of one single bar will be 12 meter. Okay. Or if we say in feet, that will be in 40 feet. Now for that bar, like for 8 mm, 6 mm, we have to sometimes we have to find out weight per meter. Okay. So for finding out weight per meter, we'll have a weight per meter formula. Okay, now this is our third topic. So, the weight per meter formula is d square by 162 kg per meter. Okay, now for example, if you have a 8 mm bar, okay, this uh, d square by 162, in that d will be our diameter. Okay, now you have a 8 mm bar, for that 8 mm bar you have to find out weight per meter. So, the formula will be 8 square by 162 that will be equals to 0 0.39 kg per meter means less than half kg per meter so 8 mm weight is less than half kg per meter ok got it now for the same bar we will gonna find out weight per bar means our bar length is 12 meter so for that what will be the formula so for the weight per bar formula will be d square by 162 into 12 kgs per bar Okay, for example, if you take a 8 mm bar, so for that the formula will be 8 square divided by 162, okay, and then multiplied by 12, okay, then our weight will be equals to 4.74 kgs per bar, means more than 4.5 kgs per bar for a 8 mm 12 meter bar, for a 8 mm 12 meter bar, okay friends. So this is the weight per meter, weight per bar formula. Weight per meter is completed, weight per bar is completed. Now we will see some shapes. Okay, so first shape we have here is hook. This hooks will use in stirrups mostly. Okay, for the beams or for the columns, but it is used in stirrups. Normal length for the stirrups we have here 90. Some will take 60, some will take 70, it depends. But normally, generally we will take it as 90. Here we have two hook and the length of bar is L. Now, if we have to find the length of bar, the length will be L plus 90, 90. D here is our diameter. Okay. And these are the two 90, 90. So, L plus 90 plus 90 meter. D is our diameter here. Okay. Now, let us see the second shape. What we have here, second shape we have here is bend. This bend we use in footings. Footing mesh we use here. This, this is the footing, and we are here. We have top mesh and bottom mesh. Okay. Now this bend is value is from 10d to 16d. It depends upon the thickness or depth of the footing. Right. Now if you see on the screen, we have here one bar, two bends, and the length of the bar is L. Okay. Now D here again is the same diameter. Length of bar we'll have L plus 12d and 12d. 12d because here we are taking bend 12d right and here we are taking bend as a 12d okay so l plus 12d and 12d this is our formula now if you see on the screen we have one drawing column and one footing okay so this the straight bars we call it as main bars this rings or ties we call it as stirrups okay then down below we have here the footing for the footing we have here top mesh and bottom mesh okay if i displace this elements we'll get a drawing like this main bar then our stirrups then top mesh and bottom mesh right okay now if you see 
we have while we have to do the calculations we have to understand when sometimes what will happen we have to overlap footing column column to beam or beam to slab will overlap so for that overlap how we have to take the values like this now if you see on the screen we have here one footing and one column now on the footing mesh column reinforcement is setting setting down okay column reinforcement is resting on footing mesh okay now here if you see overlapping column to column means sometimes what will happen our 12 bar will 12 meter bar will get finished so at that time what we have to do we have to add one more bar so you will not add at the ends you have to take some more space means you will join with some space that we call as uh, overlapping that value will be 50d okay as you see here neck column to footing overlap so for that we are taking 40d to 50d that will depend upon the thickness of footing here and overlapping column to column overlapping or beam to beam slab reinforcement to reinforcement will take 50d right friends okay now in the below section i will show you how we have to take the values okay so neck column to footing overlapping we will take 40d to 50d right d is here diameter then column to column will take 50d or beam to beam reinforcement to in general if the 12 bar gets finished or we are joining any bar will take 50d and d here is the diameter okay friends now our next step uh, d here will take as diameter okay now the next step we have here is our crank bar this crank bar we use in beam or slab okay so if you see on the drawing this is the crank bar but this inclined shape whatever this line you are seeing this is crank we call it as crank the angle of the crank is 45 degree okay and the length of the crank we have here is 0.42d okay and wherever you have this crank bar you will gonna have some extra bars too okay so length of the bar crank bar crank is 0.42d now we have to find out this length of crank bar full length is l so we will get the value l plus 0.42d 0.42d means two cranks plus full length two cranks plus full length okay now d here is not the diameter d here will be depth of depth or thickness of slab or beam minus top and bottom cover you have to take a note here some people will take like top cover some some will not take bottom cover they will take only top cover okay now the length of extra bar the length of extra bar will be the fourth part of our full length means l by 4 we have to take here l by 4 okay now this is for the crank bar now we have here cover cover means the space between reinforcement and shattering to provide this space we use covering blocks okay now if you see in the footing drawing your slab drawing here we have some space between reinforcement and our boundary so this space we call it as cover on the bottom also we will gonna have some cover so here in the bottom we will gonna apply some covering blocks it may be of concrete or different material but it will be there concrete uh, cover blocks it will be of different sizes now we will see some example size like for footing we can take 75 mm for column we can take from 25 mm to for a column we can take 25 mm to 50 mm for beam we can take 25 to 50 mm for slab we can take 25 mm or more than that it depends upon the condition these are some example values how we have to take okay friends now the next topic is spacing so spacing is nothing that distance between two reinforcement bar means the distance between distance between two reinforced bar if you see in our stirrup drawing between two stirrups we have some space that we call as spacing okay distance between two reinforcement bars or two stirrups or two x bars or two y bars anything that we call as spacing okay now if um, we have to find out number of bars so in any direction or x direction or y direction then we have to take the formula opposite length by spacing plus one for example if we are finding out uh, length for x bar then we in the length uh, here we have to take y length divided by spacing plus one okay now number of stirrups formula number of stirrup formula is equals to actual length of column or beam by spacing plus one because uh, our actual length means our column will at one point end one point and then after that our main bars will continue okay so this is the end of our topic if you have any doubt you can write us in the comment section 
थैंक यू वेरी मच